We now know three of the four people involved in a crash and chase there in Clearwater were teenagers. That's right. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live in Clearwater with more. Ryan, you learned these suspects may face additional charges. Yeah, we just learned late this afternoon an investigation is now underway to find out they believe that these same suspects may be connected to a string of car burglaries throughout Pinellas County. I'm going to step out of the way. This only after they rammed two police cruisers at this busy Clearwater intersection and took off speeding into Largo. Myrtle Avenue and Court Street. Multiple lanes of traffic coming at relatively high speeds. A suspicious vehicle sitting still through two light cycles. Nothing. They were all totally out of it. The driver and three passengers inside passed out. Well, that was a recipe for disaster when that car started rolling. Officers used their police cruisers to block the intersection. He finally came to, woke up, he hits the gas, slams into one car, slams into the second car, and then takes off. In the car, 20-year-old Marquise Bell and 19-year-old Omar Lee Butler, both now charged with drug possession after officers uncovered bags of marijuana inside the getaway car. Investigators also found counterfeit cash and key fobs, police say from previous car burglaries. These are frequent flyers. This is something that they do all the time, far too many times. They go out and many times they will steal cars or break into cars. The chase ended about five miles away on 119th Street near Olmerton Road in Largo. Two minors also in the car now facing charges tonight. Endangered their lives, endangered our officers' lives, and the lives of countless others. And they also... The driver of this car in question, a 17-year-old boy, he now faces charges tonight of fleeing and eluding an aggravated battery on an officer. Live in Clearwater, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.